being an experienced traveler that has traveled to more than 100 countries and 250 cities worldwide, I've learned something. And that's I've noticed that China's green ambition has turned into green evolution. Now it's more clear than ever as I stand here in this mega city of over 32 million people called Chongqing that China's green revolution is on track. Chongqing's urban transportation system may be one of the most diverse in the world. In addition to roads, rails, cableways, and ferries, the Mountain City Trail has been an important way for Chongqing citizens to live and travel since ancient times. Its twists and turns go up and down, which traces the hilly geographic landscape. The Mountain City Trail is a featured brand here. It includes mountain forest trails, urban city trails, and riverside trails. I'm here at the Hongguo Ancient Trail, which began during the Tang Dynasty. Now below me is the Yangtze River. Now this is where the ancient merchants brought their goods up, used this as a resting spot, and the roads behind me, they would take the goods down the roads by horseback. The huge mountains in southwest China were always barriers isolating this region. At that time, the only way of transporting goods was porters and caravans. For their convenience, a relay station was set up here. The Huangge Ancient Trail is a logistic channel and the main commodities are living essentials such as tea and medical herb from Yunnan and Guizhou and silk, shoe embroidery, bronze ware and porcelain from Sichuan and Chongqing. Nowadays, here in the Hongguo Ancient Trail is part of the mountain forest city trail here in Chongqing. Gone are the days of the caravans and the vendors who used to walk down these roads. Now it's here to welcome local tourists and soon open up to the international market. The mountain forest trails are mainly for leisure, fitness and ecological recreation. It consists of hiking trails and recreational contact lines. There are nine mountain forest trails in Chongqing with a length of 274 kilometers. Different from the mountain forest trails, the urban city trails are mainly used for daily travel, for convenient life. Now I'm at the mountain city alley which is a section of the surrounding city wall trail. Now here's the unique part about it. Even in the hot Chongqing climate, they basically spray a cool mist so that you can enjoy yourself on a section of this wonderful wall here in China. The urban city trails are mainly located in urban areas with high population density, large terrain height difference, insufficient road network density, and inconvenient bus connections. The steps the ramps and the alleys in the old city connect the blocks to a network and forms an urban experience route. The surrounding city wall connects the famous mountain city alley, the 18 steps and the Huguang Guild Hall, including the Hongya Cave and the total length is 14.6 kilometers. An area filled with dazzling lights at night and scenic views during the day, the Daija Alley Trail has improved the travel convenience of residents, citizens, and tourists. It only takes 10 minutes to walk from the riverside to the Jiefeng Bay CBD. It connects the hustle and bustle of the central business district and effectively relieves the congestion of the Hongya Cave. There are 31 urban city trails in Chongqing, 467 kilometers in total. Another famous representative is the Cliff Trail. It has a total length of 28.7 kilometers, which connects to eight rail transit stations and 30 bus stations, and has also built elevators and service stations to facilitate tourists.
I'm standing here next to the lighthouse of the Jialing River, which is the starting point of the Golden Bay Park, which is one of the first Chongqing ecological parks. The Yangtze and the Jialing River meets in Chongqing. The four banks have an advantage of building the riverside trails, which are mainly for water viewing, fitness and recreation. It consists of riverside walks, greenland trails and cycling paths, with 20 trails to choose from, which make up approximately 466 kilometers. This Golden Bay Park is built along the river here. Now it's a band-shaped park and it has a distance of approximately 17 kilometers from north to south. The trails here closely connect urban areas, parks and green spaces to benefit the people living here and at the same time highlight the natural features. A cycling path was designed here. It's the first in Chongqing cycling loop around the city. Now, let's take a ride on an electric bike and enjoy the scenery. Let's go. There are 60 city mountain trails here in Chongqing with a total length of over 1,207 kilometers. They are circular shaped, linear shaped, and branch shaped. It emphasizes the need of humanity and experiences the natural and cultural landscape of Chongqing from the perspective of people. Today is only a glimpse of what Chongqing's determination to improve the living environment for its citizens now, this is not an easy thing to do with such complex terrain in a city like this. It improves its green transportation by bringing people so close to nature, it symbolizes the tenacity and the positive spirit of Chongqing's people to succeed.